Okay, for some guys, success and happiness means things like partners, kids, uh, home ownership, family vacations, and Costco runs on the weekend, right? All that sounds terrible. Uh, maybe you're like me, right? To me, it sounds like slavery. If you're an independent driven kind of guy, there is a game changing mindset that if you adopt it, it can really set you free and crush your self-imposed limits. Here it is. Your destiny is your own. In other words, there's no such thing as the one right path. And you can see this in the lives of really successful people if you read about them or you follow their content. They zigzagged all over the place just like the rest of us do. And you're going to do the same thing and so am I. And we're all just out here doing the best that we can. But a lot of guys create inner turmoil by constantly asking themselves, am I on the right path? And maybe you're one of them. I know I am. And look, it's not just us, right? Society puts a lot of pressure on us to choose one path and choose it very early. One degree, one partner, one city, one house. And I think religion has a big part in all this too. And I know because I was raised a pastor's kid. So I was raised with the idea that God has a plan for you, right? And that sounds great, except what it actually means in practice is that God has a plan for you. And if you just listen closely enough and follow God closely enough, you'll stay on that right path. And you better, because if you stray from the path, well, then God's going to have to come get you. And the way God does that is by making sure that you fail at whatever else you're trying to do. So it's a very weird idea, right? God has a plan, but you better stick with it, but he's not going to tell you what it is in advance. We have that all over society without really even realizing where that comes from. And here's the thing. It's all bullshit. You can't actually even find that idea in the Bible. You know, if you look at all the heroes of the Bible that are held up as examples of God having a plan for them, they sure didn't know it at the time, right? They were just zigzagging through life like the rest of us. So eventually I hit a breaking point and I decided, look, I've got to start making decisions for myself. I can't keep looking over my shoulder and seeing, you know, am I on the right path? I've just got to make the best decision I can with the information I've got at the time and move forward. And honestly, my life instantly got better. I found myself living a few minutes from the beach in San Diego. You know, like I had a freelance business that was starting to take off. But I still had one foot in the church. I still had one foot in that, that just in case that was the right path for me. And I got offered a job as a music director at a church. And I seriously considered it. And I ended up turning it down because my business was starting to take off. And it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Looking back on it now, I realized that when I made that decision, I took control of my destiny, right? I took back my power. I took back my freedom. I took back my control over my own life and my own happiness, right? And we can all do the same thing. We're all free. We can all build our own life, create our own happiness, and engineer our own success. So as a driven independent man, the most powerful mindset shift you can make is to this. Your destiny is your own. Never, ever forget that. And if you enjoy that approach, make sure to check out the other videos and subscribe to the channel because everything is about how to build your own life, create your own happiness, and engineer your own success. So we'll see you on the next one.